in the northeast continued. And that is where Colonel Pille had an encounter in Manipur with the NSEN IM group. And he will explain in the same sequence how the Indian Army has been fighting all over every cardinal direction. Colonel Pille. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Uh, value of words also dr sanjeev chopra and uh, mrs rashmi and all the organizers for getting me here and sharing the stage with such distinguished people and to be with you all that reminds me of my time as a young boy when i wanted to join the army way back in 1984 when i joined the india just like you all in ncc uniforms very and it's a very different India that we lived in, you know. So before I explain my encounter and to explain why I would rather allow myself to be, you know, not evacuated and save the lives of children, you must know what made me join the army. I joined the army not because I hated the, like we were in an insurgency campaign, we were against our own citizens, like an idea that we have from 1947, we become, sir, so explained to you that we have been constantly at war, we had enemies on our border, and we had enemies who worked inside our country who tried to get our people against us. So we always knew when we are in insurgency, whether it's in Kashmir, Punjab, Manipur, Nagaland, Assam, that we are fighting against our own people. And we can never hate the people that we fight against. We take up our arms because we love our country. We love the diversity that this festival celebrates. We loved our multicultural country. We love everything that is there. That's why my father, my grandfather, and we all joined the armed forces to protect what we all value. So when I went into that encounter, there was these two young children who were wounded. There was no way uh, General Pannu had explained, in this is the place, Deradu. In IMA, we have our ethos there, which is mentioned, the safety, honor, welfare of your country and countrymen first come first always and every time. And that's why when I saw those two young children who were wounded in the crossfire in an encounter in which they had no role to play, I had nothing better to do as I would like any other officer of the army or any other soldier would do is to insist on their evacuation and their protection. And that's why, you know, and what has happened in the end is that we did what we were supposed to do. We followed the law of the land. That's what he, General Pannu said. Where we, we gave back 93,000 prisoners of war, which is there, which was captured by us in Bangladesh. We treated them with a lot of dignity and humanity, and you know, we gave them back. And that's the same way we treat all our, uh, you know, those people who surrender. I think that's what we've been taught in the army. We treated the soldiers, uh, in, in insurgents who were there, we treated them with dignity that we would, uh, any fighting, because we don't ta take our enmity uh, beyond the boxing ring. It's like we are taught in the academy, what happens in the ring stays in the ring. It was well fought, right? The encounter was over. And many years later, the villagers called me back, remembering that encounter, remembering that two children were saved here, remembering that I almost lost my life because I had four bullets in my chest. But yes, I allowed those. So they called me and made me an honorary member of that village. Today I've retired, like, uh, uh, I've, I go back there and work. For me, I feel very proud to be in this country, to be an Indian, to see where our country is. What I grew up in 1980s, 70s, India is so different from the India that we are in. It's all grown in strength and I'm very proud to be an Indian. And I'm willing to join the army once again and become a soldier again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Colonel Pille, so beautifully explained about you know your sentiments of joining the army and your operation and we continue i think india is on the move and we are continuing to fight our own challenges and battles may i request general gurung to please conclude our today's discussion thank you general panu see all i'll say is that uh, you know military history is replete with uh, tales of valor grit courage josh junoon jazba jaise kehte hain and uh, I'm sure you all would have heard of uh, the Battle of Saragadi, uh, fought on the 12th of September, 1897, in uh, then uh, Northwest Frontier Province, that is uh, towards North Pakistan. And uh, how uh, 21 soldiers of a Sikh battalion contested against uh, 12,000 uh, Afghan rebels. Now, the Battle of Saragadi, uh, Saragadi is considered to be one of the best stands in the annals of military history. And that, I think, is a very, very proud uh, uh, thing for us to remember. The battalion is nowadays known as 4th uh, fourth, uh, fourth Battalion, the Sikh Regiment. Those 21 soldiers that fought the 12,000 Afghan rebels were all awarded the Indian uh, Order of Merit. 
which those days was equal to the Victoria Cross, because the Victoria Cross was not uh, had not had.